Hello everyone, this is how you should pick your parts for your PC. First of all, make sure you open PCPartPicker.com or click the link down below. Then, ask yourself these questions. What are you going to do with this PC? Are you going to play, are you going to work, or are you going to fool around? What games will you play on here? What work tools will you use on here? And what does your fooling around mean? Based on this, you should pick your CPU, your RAM, and your GPU, meaning your CPU should be at the max gigahertz it will ever utilize in your workloads. Your RAM should be the max megahertz you can ever utilize, and it should just have enough capacity to do the programs you normally run. And the same for your GPU, just make sure it's uh, it, it will do the stuff you want to do, your games and your things at your at your resolution. So just do your research for that. Your cooler should just be able to cool your CPU at its max um, um, utilization. And your mobile should just fulfill your needs for your ports, your PCIe slots, and all those other features. And then uh, how much storage? Well, if you, if you um, own newer games, you should at least get one terabyte. An SSD will make will mean faster uh, load times, and an HDD will mean slower load times. But the playtime after it's loading and before it's loading will be the same. The case of your PC, it's purely looks, of course, and compatibility, of course, for your graphics card and stuff. Um, and then finally, your power supply that should just um, uh, fulfill the wattage that'll be displayed here by PC Part Picker. That's one reason why I really recommend PC Part Picker. After that, just decide if you want an optical drive, choose your operating system. Your monitor can just be whatever refresh rate you want it, but uh, that's, no, that's not really going to be covered in this video that much. If you want me to make a video just for that, I might make it. Just post it down below. Anyways, so that's how you pick it. You simply decide what you need to do, research how much your things take, and you'll get your answers. So that's it, and you're done. Now go ahead and start making your computers, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.